By the end of this lecture, you're going to know how to use the NG4 directive in your application. You're going to know how to get the index in the array of the item you are looping over. And you're going to know how to nest multiple NG4 directives together. So we've covered this directive before in the quick start. NG4 is a structural directive, meaning that it changes the structure of the DOM. Its point is to repeat a given HTML element once for each value in an array, each time passing it the array value as context for string interpolation or binding. Let's take a look at an example. So here we have a simple application. We've got one component called ng4 example component. We have our main directives app component. And inside there, we're just showing, we're just including the ng4 example component. And the rest of the application is just pretty straightforward. Now our ng4 example component has a people array with just a few people and their names. And then we're using the UL and LI tags, the list HTML tags to display the name of the person. So we're using ng4 let, and then we give the a value to our array element of, and then we choose the name or we choose the property which will hold the array on our component. So for us, it's people. So value, this value here, this can be a variable name of your choosing. And this collection is a property on your component. Now it's usually an array, but it can be anything that can be iterated over in a for of loop. And we're just binding the person name. We're just displaying the person name for each li tag. So now if we run the application, there you go, very simple. We're just listing out the names of all the people in a list. But sometimes we also want to get the index of the item in the array we are looping over. And we can do this by adding another variable to our ng4 expression and making it equal to index. So just in our ng4 expression there, I add another expression, but I separate it with a semicolon. And I add another expression saying let i equal index. Now it doesn't have to be called i, it can be called whatever you want, but you do have to say it's equal to index. Index is a built-in keyword, let's say, in this situation. And now we can use the variable i just the same way as we, we could use the variable person in our template. So I'm just going to add it at the start. And then let's restart our application. And now we have the number, the item in the index, the position in the array that that person is, is now getting printed as the first value. Now the i is zero base. Actually it starts at zero, one, two, three. I'm just adding one so that, so that it starts in one in our list. So if our data structure was in fact grouped by country, we could use two ng4 directives. I'm going to create another directive called ng4 grouped example component. I'm going to replace the people array with another one called people by country with just the data structured a slightly different way. So you can see people by country is an array with two items, one, two, and each of those items has another array called people inside it, there and there. Let's change our selector to ng4 grouped example. Let's change the header. Let's change the main ng4. So now I want to loop over the groups. So there's two groups here. So my syntax is now let group of people by country. I'm then going to print the country, which each of those groups has one property called country. I'm going to print that out. And now I want to print another list. So I'm going to add another UL and LI tags.
And we're now going to add another ng4 expression. And this time we're going to loop over each group's people property. And then we're just going to print that person's name again. And finally, let's add our directive to our main directive component. And finally, let's add our new component to our ng module declarations. And now let's run this. Now we're using two ng4s, one to show the country name and one to show the list of people in each country. So in summary, we use the ng4 directive to loop over an array of items and create multiple elements dynamically from a template element. The template element is the element the directive is attached to. We can nest multiple ng4 directives together and we can get the index of the item we are looping over by assigning index to a variable in the ng4 expression. Now that we understand ng4, in the next lecture we're going to cover the conditional directives ng if and ng switch.